Well, hey, everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. I am the host, MVOTV, and I've been here on YouTube discussing my favorite show now for a for a number of years, and so I appreciate you being with me. Uh, welcome to all the new sub- subscribers to the YouTube channel. You probably found us near the end of season 25, but we've been here for a long time. So if you've got any questions, check the description box, okay? Well, guys, new information has come to the light. At least people are discussing it as new information. Um, but we have now learned from Variety that Anna did try out for Meghan McCain's seat, just as all the other women did. And of course, we know she was not chosen. Uh, it's being reported by Variety that Anna was greatly disappointed when she found out that she once again was not chosen uh, to be on the show full time. And that's what I got to share with you. So a lot of these news stories or the leaks or whatever that are coming out are very short. You know, I will say that I'm not surprised by this. You know, I've had people here for years say, you know, when I've said the reason that they're not going to choose Anna is because she sounds just like them. Her opinion does. And again, as I've said, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you think about what the show itself is, that just doesn't fit into what they're wanting for the conservative seat. But as we've seen the last several weeks, Alyssa has agreed more with them than she has disagreed with them. So then I said to you guys, uh, if that's what she was going to do, they could have, you know, given the seat to Anna. Um, but I will tell you guys, a lot of people would always say, Anna lives in Miami. She doesn't want to come. You know, people seem to think, And this day and time, that distance is an issue for people when it is not. And I've said that for years. So when I saw this particular leak, I wasn't surprised. Um, The fact that Anna Navarro lives in Miami has nothing to do with taking a job somewhere. I mean, listen, there are many people across this world, not not even celebrities, but people I know. Uh, you know, who live in one place and they work somewhere else. And during the week, they're in that city where they work. And on the weekends, they fly home to be with their family. So, I mean, I don't understand why some people seem to think, you know, it's just such a, you know, a big thing, uh, distance, but it isn't, especially when money is involved, when you don't have to pay for your own travel, when you are in a plush, fancy, dancy hotel, or they buy you an apartment, you know, rent you an apartment for the season, which actually winds up being cheaper than paying for hotel bills every week. And then you have a car service and you have a food per dim, which is probably from ABC or Walt Disney, I would assume at least a couple of thousand dollars a day. And maybe I'm stretching it, you know, people who are listening to me that work there probably like, girl, we wish is it maybe even $500, whatever it is, we know it ain't $30 or 50 bucks or 100 bucks, which is the typical per dim, you know, for jobs, you know, for folks like you, you and you know, for us. So I will tell you guys that um, a lot of people on social media, once they saw this report from Variety, they were really shocked that Anna actually tried out for the job. And let me tell you something. When I read this story, I said, oh, that's what she was doing that day. If you were with me during the season, you'll recall that there were two days that Anna was there. We talked about this. And I came on and I talked to you guys and I was like, is Anna auditioning? Like, what is she doing? Because she was sitting there and, you know, we never really hear Anna tear into Democrats, right? But she normally tears into her own party. You know, that is one of the things that has made her so popular is that she has no problem calling out her own party. But those two days, she specifically was going, again, talking about Democrats, Democrats, they need to do this, they, they need to do that. Uh, she, uh, you know, her and Sonny had a little tidbit little thing, which is normal and natural. Like we talk about when you have different opposing, when you have opposing views. So I came and I talked to you guys and I was like, uh, what is Anna doing? (laughs) Right. That's not her. She doesn't care about, I mean, if she does, she doesn't talk about it a lot, you know? So, uh, when I read this report, I thought, Oh, maybe those were the two days when she was going out for that seat. And she wanted to maybe show the producers that she could definitely sit there and she could call out the mess of the Democrats because, listen, I'm not a Democrat, although I would say as an independent, I do lean lean more left. I will tell you, um, (laughs) you know, there's no problem, you know, lack of problems rather with the Democratic Party and a lot of these Democratic senators that could be called out. So, yeah, so that's the story. Anna did try out, guys, and she didn't get it. So obviously, if she hadn't have wanted to be there full time, she wouldn't have tried out, right? That's common sense. So we know her distance for her wasn't a problem or else she wouldn't have tried out for the full time. See, right? See, that's common sense. So guys, I I don't know. 
A lot of people are very upset. So now I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, maybe, <laughs> maybe I was wrong about this particular thing. Remember what I told you guys? Remember we saw that little uh, tiff uh, between Anna and Alyssa Farah, and I reported on it the same day it happened. And then uh, last week, Anna was there. Alyssa was saying something. Anna rolled her eyes. I also talked to you guys about that. It's very possible that it's not those, those, um, those, those, interactions were not because she can see through her, which I believe she can, but maybe it was because she's upset that the girl got the job and she didn't. I mean, listen, uh, Anna is, um, she definitely uh, embodies a lot of emotion when she is discussing her opinions. And so, you know, uh, rolling eyes or whatever is, is not anything new, but I will tell you, uh, it's very possible that that's what that was about that she was just really offended that once again, they looked over her and brought in someone new. So guys, that's the story I wanted to report to you. Leave your thoughts below. This is very interesting as more and more information is trickling out the door over there at The View. What will we find out next? What will it be, guys? I don't know. I really don't. I still think for some reason there's going to be some sort of plot twist uh, for season 26 with Alyssa Farah. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong, um, but I don't know. We're just going to have to keep watching this. And listen, you keep it locked here to my view on the few. I had wanted to enjoy this last week uh, for myself, you know, just as a viewer, but uh, I'm going to have to do double duty, it seems, because these stories are coming out the wazoo. You know what? I'm going to tell you all something. When they had made the announcement on Thursday, <laughs> be sure to check this channel because God only knows, God only knows what stories are going to be coming out from everywhere. And listen, y'all, I am here for it. Y'all hear me? I am here for all of it. Okay. You know, we love our show, but, and, and we know that it, you know, but all of us love a little mess. We all love a little mess here and there. So to know that all these different people are speaking out behind the scenes, um, is very interesting because it tells you, uh, and it tells us rather kind of what the atmosphere is behind the scenes. If only I could be a fly on the wall, y'all. Do you hear me, child? I would just be posted up <laughs> listening to every flying from one dressing room bzz, to the next dressing room. Bzz, what is Sunny? I'm talking. Let me go here too. <laughs> I would just be, whoa, honey, child. They'd have to get me out of the building because I would be posted up for days trying to take in all the juiciness. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. This is my view on The View, a commentary podcast all about ABC's The View. I enjoy talking to you so much. Listen, give me a thumbs up before you leave. I'll talk to you later. Bye.